This is uh, Dr. Tigala Sivasankar Reddy, Professor of Civil Engineering, Lord's Institute of Engineering and Technology, Hyderabad. Today, it is a continuous of the previous uh, video that we have released. Today, we should be discuss about a single plane method or a same plane method in trigonometrical leveling. In this uh, method, we can be find distance from base of the object to the point given in the field and also we can find the height of the object. If you see the figure, this is the object and also point they have given is just assume we have shown in the figure it is 1. Our aim is we should determine distance from base of this object to the station 1 which we have shown in the figure. In addition to this, we should also find total height of the object and also reduce the level at the topmost point of the object with reference to the benchmark that we have shown here. So here for this, what we should be doing is, first we should set the instrument at the point where we require the distance to the base of the object. So here uh, number one, first we should be set the instrument. So already I was taught in the previous videos, first we should do the temporary adjustments. In that you know, setting up, leveling up and also the elimination of parallax. Once the temporary adjustments are over, next for a zero line of sight, make the telescope parallel to the ground or make the vernier C and vernier D scales which are attached to the vertical uh, circle to 0 degrees, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Here, one more point we should be remember before going for uh, getting these values is we should always assume that ground is the fairly level. So here next point is we should attach our, uh, keep our leveling staff at our convenient place in the field. Now the leveling staff instrument station that we have fixed at the station one and also object were in the same plane because ground is a fairly level. Once the instrument was set at the station one, we should do the temporary adjustments and for a zero line of sight, we should note the corresponding staff reading. So we should note the leveling staff, we should bisect the leveling staff and we should note the reading. Let S1 be the corresponding staff reading with reference to station 1. S1 be the corresponding staff reading with reference to station 1. Next again what we should be do is raise the telescope and bisect the topmost point of the object. Note the angle of elevation. Let alpha 1 be the angle of elevation here. So already you know the difference between the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. If the object lies above the line of sight, the angle taken for that object is known as the angle of elevation. If the object below the line of sight, the angle observed or noted for that object is known as the angle of depression. So here what we done at the station 1 with the leveling instrument is we noted the corresponding staff reading S1 and also we noted the angle of elevation to the topmost point of the object alpha 1. Next select the second point in the field now. So here how we can be select the second point is now transit the telescope. You know how we can be what is the transiting turning the telescope through 180 degrees about the horizontal axis in a vertical plane. So how we can be select the second point in the field now, turn the telescope through 180 degrees about the horizontal axis in a vertical plane. Now here we can select the second point by this process. So once the second point is selected, next what we should be do is shift the instrument to station 2 which we have shown in the figure. Next immediate job we have is 
do the temporary adjustments key points what we can be use for temporary adjustments is setting up leveling up and also elimination of parallax but you see that the distance of first point and the second point should be measurable with a tape it's a known distance we can measure with a tape if you observe the figure d is the known distance this we can be measure with the tape now here we set it the instrument at the second point now here what happens is height of the instrument at the point 2 will be higher than the height of the instrument or with reference to the point 1 now here also what we should be do is we should do the temporary adjustments next for zero line of sight what is the zero line of sight telescope telescope should be parallel to the ground or at zero line of sight what we can be observe from vernier c and vernier d is the angle is 0 degrees 0 minutes and 0 seconds so for zero line of sight again note the corresponding staff reading let s to be the corresponding staff reading so once the staff reading was noted next what we should be do is raise the telescope and bisect the top most point of the object so once the top most point of the object is bisected note the angle of elevation at the point number 2 let beta 2 be the angle of elevation so here what are the reading that we have observed at the second station 2 now one is the angle of elevation with reference to station 2 that is beta 1 second one is the corresponding staff reading this reading we noted from the leveling staff which we arranged here so let us to be the corresponding staff reading that we have noted in the field book with reference to station 2 now come to the data draw the figure in your office so here what is the data now let h1 we have shown draw the figure data that you have collected in the field so once the figure was drawn figure will be like this so let d be the distance from station 1 or the point which they have given in the field to the base of the object it is unknown we should determine the value now from the calculations h1 be the height of the object with reference to station 1 it is shown in the figure h2 be the height of the object with reference to station 2 that we have shown in the figure let here capital letter h indicate the total height of the object and also we should be assume that the staff was held on a benchmark let it be some bm with a numerical value here we are assuming bm it indicates the benchmark now come to the first figure figure 1 so trigonometrical just you recollect the formulae that you have read in the previous classes trigonometrical formulae you know that tan alpha 1 you see this figure tan alpha 1 equals to opposite side by adjacent side so h1 divided by d therefore tan alpha 1 equals to h1 by d therefore height of the object above the line of sight with reference to station 1 h1 equals to d times of tan alpha 1 next come to the second figure beta 1 tan beta 1 equals to h2 divided by h2 is the height of the object above the line of sight with reference to station 2 so from this figure what we can be observe is tan beta 1 equals to beta 1 is the angle of elevation that we have observed at the station 2 so tan beta 1 equals to again h2 divided by distance from base of the object to the point that we have set at the instrument that is station 2 so here distance will be d plus d therefore tan beta 1 equals to h2 divided by d plus d therefore height of the object above the line of sight with reference to station 2 h2 will be equals to d plus d tan beta 1 so the difference of two heights h1 minus h2 if we see the figure s1 we know the reading was noted from the leveling staff with reference to station 1 s2 also we know the reading that we have noted from the leveling staff with reference to station 2 therefore the difference of two heights h1 minus h2 h1 minus h2 this ordinate this ordinate will be s2 minus s1 so h1 minus s2 equals to s2 minus s1 these two are unknown values 
whereas these two are known values so directly we can get the difference because this were that we have noted from the leveling staff with reference to the stations 1 and 2 now come to let it be some yes we are assuming the difference of this s2 minus s1 will be yes that should be equals to h1 we know is d times of tan alpha 1 and h2 we know is d plus d times of tan beta 1 now here this will be equals to d tan alpha 1 minus d tan beta 1 minus d tan beta 1 that will be equals to yes so this will be equals to you bring this d times of tan beta 1 to this dial yes plus tan d times of tan beta 1 equals to d into tan alpha 1 minus tan beta 1 therefore d equals to yes plus d times of tan beta 1 divided by tan alpha 1 minus d times of tan alpha 1 sorry tan alpha 1 minus tan beta 1 now here what happens is now here s yes indicates the staff readings uh, difference of star, that is s1 yes and s2 difference of staff reading d indicates distance of uh, station 1 to the station 2 beta 1 indicates angle of elevation that we have observed with reference to the station 2 alpha 1 indicates angle of elevation that we have observed with reference to station 1 you know beta 1 so with reference to station 2 d is the distance from base of the object to the station 1 or point which they required the distance and also with reference to station 2 here station 2 that we have shown here total distance equals to d plus d therefore d plus d this will be equals to d plus d will be s plus d times of tan beta 1 divided by tan alpha 1 plus tan beta 1 okay now we got the total distance here so once we got the total distance next h1 height of the object height of the object above the line of sight right now here height of the object above the line of sight with reference to station 1 the equation which we got is d times of tan alpha 1 so in the place of d the value we got is s plus d times of tan beta 1 divided by tan alpha 1 minus tan beta 1 if we substitute the value so we can be get height of the object above the line of sight with reference to station 1 that is s plus d times of tan beta 1 divided by divided by tan alpha 1 plus tan beta 1 times of tan alpha 1 now total height of the object what is the total height of the object now if you see we got this value height of the object above the line of sight with reference to station 1 therefore total height of the object equals to s1 plus h1 so s1 plus h1 total height of the object that we have shown in the figure is h therefore h equals to s1 plus h1 but in addition to this value what they can be asked is they want the value of reduce the level at the topmost point of the object just assume staff was held on a benchmark let it be some bm therefore reduce the level at the topmost point of the object rl equals to benchmark plus total height of the object that will be equals to s1 plus h1 so here total of the height of the object we got is s1 plus h1 and also reduce the level at the topmost point of the object we got is benchmark plus s1 plus h1 now here what happens is if we know the numerical that is angle of elevation with reference to station 1 angle of elevation with reference to station 2 uh, the distance from base of the object to station 1 which they have they want the value and also distance from base of the object to the station 2 which we found and also the values that we noted s1 and s2 directly we can evaluate the value of distance from base of the object to the point which they required in the field and also we can be find total height of the object in addition to these values we can be find out reduce the level at the topmost point of the object now this is the continuity of the previous video even though if you have any discrepancy or any doubt that you please mail me thank you thank you very much later video we can discuss about second case of this problem that is if at the station 1 height of the instrument is higher than the height of the instrument at the station 2 in addition to this problem again we should be discuss about different plane method and also double plane method in that method also we should be find out height of the object in addition to that distance from base of the object to the point which they required the distance thank you thank you very much